friends in this section we'll learn about evolution of operating systems there are many operating systems those have the developed for performing the operations those are requested by the user there are many operating systems which have the capability to perform the request those are received from the system the operating system can perform a single operation and also perform multiple operations at a time so there are many types of operating systems those are organized by using their working techniques so first is serial processing operating systems the serial processing operating system are those which perform all the instructions into a sequence manner or the instructions those are given by the user will be executed by using the first in first out all the instruction those are entered first in the system will be executed first and the instructions those those are those are entered later will be executed later in this serial processing operating system the program counter will determine which instructions is going to execute first and which instruction will be executed later mainly the punch cards are used for this in this all the jobs are firstly prepared and stored on the card and after that card will be entered in the system and after that all the instruction will be executed one by one but the main problem is that the user does not interact with the system while is working on the system means the user cannot be able to enter the data for execution so we see the diagram we see the diagram this is a diagram of punch cards which is used for to which process execute first and which process is executed later by using these punch cards so we see the next batch operating systems the user of a batch operating system do not interact with the computer directly each user prepare his job on offline device like punch cards and submit it to the computer operator to speed up processing job with similar needs are batched together and run as a group the programmer leaves their programs with the operator and the operator then sorts the program with similar requirement into batches so we see the diagram these are the number of users and jobs are pass the job to the operator and operator are bunched together and related job are bunched together and passed to the computer this is a batch operating system then see the next multi programming operating system in the batch processing system there are multiple jobs executed by the system but the system first prepare a batch and after that he will execute all the jobs those are stored into the batch but the main problem in a batch operating system if a process or job requires an input and output operations then it does not possible and second there will be the wastage of the time when we preparing the batch the cpu will remain idle at that time but using multi programming operating system we can execute multiple programs on the system at a time and in a multi programming the cpu will never get idle because with the help of multi programming we can execute many programs on a system and when we are working with the program then we can also submit the second or another program for a running and the cpu will then execute the second program after the completion of the first program this is a multi programming system so there are number of job job a job b and job c now job b is in a executions then job c is a in waiting state so after completion of job b then execute the job c this is a working of multi programming system then next is a distributed operating system in distributed operating system use the multiple central processes to serve multiple real time application and multiple users multiple users data processing jobs are distributed among the processor 
accordingly. The processor communicate with one another through the various communication lines, such as high-speed buses or telephone lines. These are referred as loosely coupled system or distributed systems. Processors, processors in a distributed system may vary in size and functions. So we see the next real-time system. There is also an operating system which is known as a real-time processing system. In this response time is already fixed, means time to display the result after possessing has fixed by the processor or CPU. Real-time system is used at those places in which we require higher or timely response. This type of system are mostly used in a reservation systems. So when we specify the request, the CPU will perform at that time. There are two types of real-time systems. One is a hard real-time system and second is a soft real-time systems. In hard real-time systems, there are time is fixed and we cannot change at any moment. And in soft real time, we can change the time. So this is a soft real time systems. So we see the next multiprocessing. In multiprocessing, there are used number of processors for executing the number of process. In multiprocessing, there are two or more CPU in a single operating system. If one CPU will fail, then other CPU is used for providing backup to the first CPU. With the help of multiprocessing, we can execute many jobs at a time. All the operations are divided into number of CPUs. If the first CPU completed his work before the second CPU, then the work of second CPU will be divided into the first and second. This is a multiprocessing systems. Then next is the parallel operating systems. In parallel operating systems are used to interface multiple network programs to complete tasks in a parallel manner. So we see the diagrams here. Parallel operating system are mostly used in a networking. Networking. So there are number of processes, processors, which execute the each process and share the same memory in a networking thank you and subscribe our channel logic computer institute for more videos